Light. Light. Starlight, star bright. Most of the light on Earth comes from our nearest star, the sun. The sun gives us both light of and warmth. Without the sun's energy, Earth would be cold and dark. Plants could not grow, and life on Earth would not exist. Did you, did you know the light is the fastest thing in the universe? It travels through space and nearly 186,300 miles per second. Light travels in straight lines. We can see straight rays of light when the sun shines through the clouds. Light for life. Try this experiment to see if plants need light. You will need a shallow tray, some cotton, water, mustard seeds, alfalfa seeds, or crest seeds. The sheet of light, cardboard, scissors. Step one, spread the cutting in the base of the tray, water, water the cotton when, when then sprinkle, then sprinkle the seeds on top. Step two, cut your initials in, in the middle of the cardboard. Place the cardboard over the ceiling. Step three, keep the tray in a sunny place. Once a day, tape, take off the cardboard of the water, the ceilings. The cotton should be damp, not soaked. Put the cardboard back in the same place. Step four, remove the cardboard when the seedlings have fully grown. What do you notice? How are the seedlings that grew, that grew in a light different from the seedlings that grew in the cover areas? Light for sight. Some things such as the sun and light bulbs give off light. They are called sources of light. We can see them because the light they produce goes straight into our eyes. When objects, most objects such as plants, animals, and buildings do not give off light, when can when, we can see these things because light bounces off them and then goes into our eyes. Straight and narrow. Try this experiment to see if light always travels in straight lines. You will need two pieces of light cardboard, scissors, a long pencil, modeling clay, a flashlight, a dark place. Step one, cut, cut a shape in the center of one piece of cardboard. Now cut the same shape in the center of the other piece of cardboard. Step two, stand the two pieces of cardboard in a straight line, one behind the other. Use your pencil to check the, that the two holes are lined up. Use these modeling clay to fix the pieces of cardboard into position. Step three, in a dark place, shine a flashlight straight through the whole first hole. What do you notice? Step four, now move your second piece of cardboard so that the holes are not lined up. Shine the flashlight through the first hole again. What happened? Why? Refre reflection and refraction. Light that has bounced off a surface is called reflection. Light. Reflect. Reflect the light. When light rays hit a smooth surface, such as a mirror, they bounce, they bounce off at the same angle at which they hit the surface. This creates a, re a reflection that we can see. When light goes into a glass of water, it slows down. If the light hits it at the angle, it also changes direction. This bending of the light is called refraction. Curved mirrors change the size, size 
and shape of objects. What do you see when you look at your reflection in a spoon? Have you ever looked at your legs in the swimming pool ref refraction? Makes, makes them look shorter. Underwater, they, re they really then are. They, then, they are. Then, they are. then they really are. Bouncing back. Try this experiment to see how mirrors can be used to make light rays go around corners. You will need a piece of cardboard, scissors, a comb, modeling clay, a small mirror, a flashlight. Step one, cut a rectangle about one inch long in the bottom edge of the cardboard. Stand the cardboard up and use modeling clay to fix it into position. Step two, stand, stand the comb in front of the hole. Step three, stand the mirror in front of the comb at an angle. Use, use modeling clay to hold the mirror in position. Step four, shine the flashlight through the hole so the light rays hit the mirror. What happens is now change the, now change the angle of the mirror. What happens this time? Splitting light. The light that comes from the sun or a light bulb looks as if it is white. In fact, it, it is made up of seven different colors. These colors are called the spectrum. We can, you, we can see them in a rainbow. Did you know Roy G. Biv is made? Is a made up name that people use to remember the colors in the rainbow. Red, orange, green, yellow, green, blue, indio, indio, and violet. If you, if you look, if you look at the plain surface of a CD, you can see the color spectrum. Tiny marks have been cut onto the CD. They split white light into its different colors. When you look at the rainbow, it is hard to see where one color ends and the next color starts. This is because the colors blend together. Make a rainbow. Try this experiment to see how white light can be split into the color of, of the spectrum. You will need a large drinking glass or jar, a small mirror, a flashlight, a dark room. Step one, fill, fill the glass or jar with water. Step two, put, put the mirror inside the glass of the jar. Tilt the mirror sli slightly up, upward. Step three, in a dark room with white walls, shine the flashlight onto the mirror. Mm, try tilting the mirror at different angles. What do you see on the wall behind you?